Welcome to another video in the order to cash playlist. In the last video, we discussed the free of charge sales process. I explained the most important business requirements we receive in this process in our SAP projects. And also I explained all the related accounting entries. In the video today, I will demonstrate everything I explained in the last video on SAP S4HANA 2021. I will start by creating a sales order for a normal item that we sell free of charge. And then I will, I will create an outbound delivery, post goods issue, and show you the accounting entry, then post the billing and show you the billing accounting entry. And I will also demonstrate both cases with and without sales tax. Without sales tax means the customer is not going to pay anything. With sales tax means the customer has to pay the sales tax, so it will be posted to his account. And I will also show you how we can create one sales order that has one line item that is normally paid, a standard line item and another line item that is free of charge. To prepare my SAP S4HANA 2021 system for the demo today, I had to do some configuration steps. All the configuration steps I did, you can find in the order to cash configuration manual that I share with the elite members of the channel. If you check here, we have a menu for free of charge where I explained all the configuration steps I had to do to be able to run the demo today. So you can do the same steps in your system to test the process on your own. So this is available to the elite members. If you would like to be an elite member, then I will leave you a link here. You can check it to know the details. Now let's get back to our SCEP system. So I will start by creating a sales order uh, to sell a normal item, but we will sell it free of charge. To create the sales order, the transaction is VA01. Here the order type, I am using the completely normal order type OR. So the process is actually same as selling a standard item. So we are selling a normal product using the, the standard uh, order type for sales. And the only difference is in the item category in the sales order and some other things I will show you now. So first we have here the order type OR. Then I have my sales organization, distribution channel 10, division 00. Then I will insert my customer and then customer reference. Let's say free of charge demo. One and the required delivery date, let's say 0107, 2023. And here we have the material. So I'm using a completely standard material. So this material is not a free material or something. This is a completely normal product that I normally sell for a price, but this time I'm going to sell it free of charge. So I inserted the material code and then enter. And let's say we are going to sell 100 items to the customer. And then here is the first difference from the standard process. But before I do this, let me show you the sales conditions. So, so far, this is a completely standard sales process. If we go here to the item conditions, you can see that we have the price 16, and then we have uh, the number of items is 100. So the total is 1,600, 16 by 100. And then we also have some output tax and we have our internal price. So this is a completely normal sales process. Now let's do the first change. So I will go back to the overview here. And then if we go here to the right, we have the item category and I'm going to change this to TANN. So this is the standard item category that's created by SAP for free of charge. Once I insert TANN and enter, you get this message, new pricing performed for item 010. Okay. And then now if we go to the conditions, we can see we have the price 1,600 and then we have the output tax and then we have a 100% discount here. So as you see, that discount is 1,600. So now we have a price of 1,600, discount 1,600, so the net is zero. So the customer is not going to pay this amount. And if you check here, we have the net is zero, but we also have the tax 112 because here we have 7% tax. Let's make this 10% to make it easy, easier to calculate. So now we have the tax 160. If I continue like this, it means that the customer is going to pay only the taxes. If I don't want the customer to pay tax or if, or if in our case, we don't have sales taxes, then I will just click on the line, remove it. Or let's go come here and insert zero. And now we don't have any taxes. So this is the case. Of course, normally in the normal sales process, you wouldn't be able to change the output tax but I changed my configuration to make it manual in order to be able to demonstrate this easily without having to change the tax codes. So here we have our output tax is zero. So let's proceed like this. In this case, the customer is not going to pay anything at all, no taxes and no price. So now let's go back. And if I proceed like this, so if we go here to the details, 
and let's go to shipping first to insert my storage location so this is similar to the standard process 171b and then if we go here to schedule lines here we have something called the schedule line item category and this is what determines the movement type that will be used in the goods issue and the movement type it is what determines what GL account will be used in our accounting posting when we post the goods issue I have already explained everything related to the material management account determination so the link between the movement type and the GL account I have already explained all of this in the playlist of material management account determination so I will not go into the details but if we change the schedule line item the schedule line category here this can change the movement type that's used in the post goods issue which can change the GL account that's used in the posting so the cost of goods sold account and as, as I explained in the last video most of the time the customer would, would ask to uh, when I say the customer I mean the company that's implementing the SAP they would ask to have a different account from cost of goods sold when they post free of charge so in this case I have defined here a new line uh, schedule line category I called it Z1 and this one I mapped to the movement type 901 which will post to a different account from cost of goods sold let's proceed with the process and I will show you this so first you need to understand that if I keep this as CN then when we post the goods issue we will have the standard entry debit to cost of goods sold and the credit to uh, stock or maybe I should show you this so let I let's let's do this the video will be a little longer let me show you this uh, so you can see the difference when we change the schedule line category so I'm keeping this as CN this is the standard item uh, schedule line category and then I'm not going to change anything else I will save and we have the order number is 661 now I click on sales order and deliver so this is transaction VL01N and the shipping point is 1710 and here we I will choose selection date after our delivery date so I, let's say for example 010 1007 2023 and here I will go to picking so we have storage location delivery quantity pick to quantity let's say 100 also and then post goods issue now to display the accounting entry let's go to outbound delivery display and then go to the document flow here goods issue delivery so this is the material document display document so here we can see the movement type so the movement type is 601 goods issue delivery this is the standard process now if I go here to the accounting entry you can see the entry is credit to finished goods stock and debit to inventory change cost of goods sold so this is the standard process here we post it to cost of goods sold it didn't go to a separate account that is made for uh, free of charge why because we use the standard uh, schedule line category now if I want to post to a separate account I will have to create another sales order with and use a different schedule line category so we can see this now let's go back and I will create another sales order again so slash NVA01 so it will be with the same details the same customer customer reference demo let's say two and delivery date the same but the item is FG01 100 let's say 100 let's say 200 units this time so we can see the difference and then let's go here to the conditions so we can see the price the output tax I will remove the tax again make it zero so now the customer has to pay 3200 now let's go back and change the item category so TANN new pricing performed now if you go again to conditions the customer doesn't have to pay anything uh, for the items and we have the output tax is back because the pricing has been recalculated so I will make it zero again so zero and zero now the customer is not going to pay anything and let's go to shipping insert the storage location and go to schedule lines and this time I'm going to change this with the category that I configured for the demo which is Z1 and then save now again let's go to delivery so here's our sales order the selection date 10th of July okay pick the quantity 200 post goods issue 
let's display the accounting entry go again to document flow the material document display and here we can see the first difference so the first difference is if you go to the where tab the movement type is 901 so this is a movement type that i configured also for the demo and i mapped it to a different account key so it can post to a different gl account so here is the movement type and now if we go to the accounting entry we can see we have a credit to finish good stock and the debit goes to an account that I called free of charge cost of goods sold. You can call it anything you want. The important thing is this is a separate account from the standard cost of goods sold and you can insert, use it anywhere you want in your financial statements. So there is our business uh, first business requirement. Okay, now let's go back and post the billing document. To post the billing slash in VF01. Here is our outbound delivery number, enter. So now if we check here the conditions, we can see the customer is not going to pay anything, but again, the output price is back. So I will remove it again, make it zero. So I, uh, here the customer is not going to pay anything here and is not going to pay any taxes. We can, after this, cancel the billing document and repost it with tax. So we can see both business cases to save your time. So anyway, now if we post the billing document like this, the customer is not going to pay anything. So let's post and display the accounting entry. So billing document, display, and then go to accounting, accounting document. And the accounting entry is a debit to revenue domestic uh, product products and a credit to revenue domestic products. So as I ex explained in the last video, we can have both the discount and the sales price posted to the same sales account. So this way we have no impact on our sales revenue because in this case, we don't actually have any sales revenue or we can configure the system to post the debit line to a separate uh, discount expense discount account. I have already explained how we can configure the account determination for sales conditions in the sales and distribution account determination playlist. I know that I, I mentioned this a lot, but I have really explained this in details. So there is a playlist for MM account determination, another playlist for SND account determination where this was all explained. So in order you can easily configure SAP to post the discount to a separate account. Okay. So here's our second business requirement. As you see here, there is nothing posted to the customer account. So the customer is not going to pay anything. Now let's go back and insert some taxes so we can see the impact on our accounting entry. So I'm going to reverse this billing document or cancel. So here let's go to cancel and then enter. So it will be canceled post. So now the billing document has been canceled. Let's post it again with taxes this time. So go back to VF01. And I have lost the outbound delivery number. So let's go and get it. So VL03N. Here is our outbound delivery number. Insert it here, enter. Let's go back to conditions. Now this time I'm going to keep the tax. So if I post like this, the customer should be charged for 224 USD for the taxes. Now let's post. And again, display the accounting entry. Accounting document. So now as you see, we have first a debit to receivables domestic to the, on the customer account of 224. And then we have a credit to the sales tax accrued for 224. And then we have the two lines for revenue domestic products for the sales price and the discount, the same two lines that were in the last entry. So now you understand how we can configure the process to, uh, to satisfy all the business requirements we have in the free of charge uh, sales process. Before ending the video, I forgot that I promised you that I'm going to show you how to create a sales order with one line item that is normally paid by the customer and another item that's free of charge. So let's get back to our sales order creation slash in VA01. And here we have the order type and again the same details. Then here insert the customer. Customer reference, demo three. Required delivery date. And here the material is FG01. So this time I'm going to create two lines. 
one line that's free of charge and one line that's paid. So the line that's free of charge, let's say it will be for 50 units. And this one is going to be with the item category T, A, and N. And then the second line is also for the same material, FG01. But let's say this one is for 1,000 units. Okay, and this, this one I will keep with the item category T, A, N. So now you understand how this will proceed. Very simple. So now let's go to the details of the first item. Go to shipping, insert the storage location. Go to schedule lines, change the schedule line to Z1. So this is the free of charge item. And then go to conditions. And here we can see that the customer is not going to pay anything for the price. He will only pay the taxes. This is fine. Now let's proceed to the second item, 20. So this one is also going to be from the same storage location. And then if we go to schedule lines, I will keep it CN because this is a standard item. And if we go to conditions, we can see that the customer is going to pay the total value and also the total value of the items and also will pay the taxes. So now everything is okay. Let's save. Let's deliver this sales, or this sales document. So go to sales document, deliver. Again, we have the same details. So we have here two items, two line items. So the big quantity is 50 and 1000. Then post the goods issue. Now, if we check the accounting entry, we will have both. We will have cost of goods sold and also the free of charge account. So let's go to FI documents, accounting document. And here, as you see, we have FG stock credit and FG stock credit. So one for each line item. For the first one, it will be posted to the free of charge cost of goods sold. The second one will be posted to the normal cost of goods sold. Very nice. Now let's go back and post the billing document, VF01. So here is our outbound delivery. Here are the two items, post. Now, if we check the billing document, accounting entry, we can see here the receivables domestic is for this amount. So this is the value for the items that are going to be charged to the customer plus the sales tax that is on the free of charge items plus the sales tax that is on the paid items. So here we have the customer is going to pay 17,000 something we have revenue domestic products credit for this amount and we have revenue domestic product debit for the value of the free of charge items and we have two lines for output tax. This is it. Now we understand how to run the process to satisfy all the business requirements for the free of charge sales process. If you have any other business requirements in this process that I have not explained and I have not demonstrated, then please leave me a comment. I would be very happy to create other videos explaining the requirements and also demonstrating them. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave me a comment also. If you would like to see the configuration steps I did to be able to run the process like this, then you can check the configuration manual I share with the elite members. Also, don't forget to check the other playlists, the material management account determination, the sales and distribution account determination, and there are many other playlists available on the channel. Also, don't forget to check the other videos in the order to cash playlist. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you again soon.